Hello, my gorgeous Cancerians. This is Debs, and this is your reading for mid-March 2024. Cancer, it's great to be with you. Thank you so much, guys, for being here. Now, coming out of meditation, I had to smile to myself because I wasn't quite sure what I'd seen. <laughs> I literally saw someone on a dark night lighting a fuse and then there was an explosion of fireworks. But I couldn't see anyone's faces. So I didn't know whether or not this was celebration or whether or not this was a massive argument, you know? Someone had lit the fuse for an argument. So Cancer, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> could be your energy, could be the person you're dealing with. Let's um, delve into this deck and see if we can uncover what these fireworks actually mean. So the deck that I'm using is the Marchetti deck. Everything you need, guys, is down below. The link to my website if you'd like a private reading. All the decks I use and the link to join the channel if you're interested in becoming a member. As you know, I put out weekly videos every Sunday just for my members. All right. So Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the reading for my Cancerians. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, mid-March 2024. I keep hearing Cancer, you lit the fuse. You lit the fuse. Is this someone very excited about you? Have you sort of lit this person up? <laughs> is there going to be celebrations? Or have you made someone angry? Or are you angry? <laughs> we will see. I'm not getting a serious energy, though. Let's just delve in. Let's delve in. Hmm. Oh, Rose and Angela have come in. <laughs> mm. They're sitting next to Arnold. He's having to shift up. I've got a sort of old tatty sofa over there. Yeah, he's shifting up. Rose is talking about her knitting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All's fine in the house. All right, Hierophant. Cancer. You could be talking marriage with a Taurus. <laughs> it could be you're leaning on your spirituality. You may be trying to make someone see sense. You can't behave like that. You're going to face karma. You need to move into a spiritual energy. You need to do the right thing. Okay. The Hermit. Strong earth energy. Whoa. Taurus and Virgo coming straight out. Cancer, you may be doing a lot of soul searching and thinking as to whether or not you want to marry. For some of you, marry again. You may be taking a step back and contemplating a serious connection. In the past, Four of Swords, you might have had to heal from something difficult, Cancer. I'm hearing something that was out of your control. After that time with the King of Cups, you may have fallen in love with someone, but they weren't quick in showing their emotion. So you didn't know how to feel about this. Somebody may have been a bit closed off, or I could simply be connecting with a masculine Cancerian. We'll see. Wow. Okay. In your thoughts is the Queen of Cups, Cancer. King and Queen of Cups. Oh my goodness. You're thinking about love. You're thinking about the concept of a traditional relationship. Now, Cancer, for some of you, you may be in a relationship, but you feel left out in the cold and you're thinking about love. I want love in my life. In the immediate future... Okay. All right. That puts a different slant on things. The lovers. A very deep soul connection. You could be communicating with a Gemini. You could have Gemini in your chart. Cancer, you have a choice. 
in your fears. Look at that. Fireworks. Okay. So are you fearing that if you choose one particular person, the other person's going to be angry? <laughs> okay. I'm so sorry. I'm hearing someone say not just fireworks, a flipping nuclear fallout. Okay. All right. Okay. Wow. In the environment, Cancer. Yeah. Two of Wands. I feel Cancer, someone here is needing to make a decision, which means it's not you. You may be in a lover situation with someone and waiting for them to make a choice between you and someone else. You may have felt left out in the cold because someone here was married, someone that you fell in love with, and you may have been waiting for them to make a decision to choose you. In your hopes, three of wands, hoping for your ships to come in. There's an anxious energy now creeping in. I really hope it works out. Okay. Seven of coins, seven of pentacles. The final card is you looking at the past, looking at something you put a lot of time and energy into. A lot of investment. Clarification for you. Knight of coins. Five of coins. So Cancer, you are waiting for this person to commit to you. You feel a bit left out in the cold. They may have been sitting on the fence for a long time. You may be getting to the point where you're ready to give up. Justice. Whoever is sitting on the fence is thinking about a court case, moving into maybe divorce, to break free of a situation, but they haven't quite made a decision to do that yet. Yeah. Three of coins, but they are developing this situation with you. As in, they built a foundation of sorts with you. So Cancer, sadly, you are the third party. I think you've been waiting for your person to choose you. You know this person loves you, but they don't find it easy to show their emotion. You felt left out in the cold because this person is potentially married. And you have been waiting for this person to leave their partner to be with you. Underneath the deck, Cancer, Two of Cups. You love this person. You may know that they're in love with you. You're dealing with an emperor. You could be connecting to an Aries. He's offered you love with the Ace of Cups, but it's sort of not enough. It's not enough. You want commitment. So I think, Cancer, you've been biding your time, waiting for this masculine to make a decision to leave a partner. Is he ever going to do it? So Cancer, you do not know whether or not you guys are going to have a blow up argument and you're going to walk away because he's not willing to make that decision or whether or not you guys are going to celebrate, which is possibly why when I saw the vision, I couldn't see anyone's faces. I couldn't tell whether lighting the fuse was going to be leading to a celebration or leading to an argument. So let's get into this and see what else comes through. But Cancer, you could be dealing with a fellow water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, a Taurus, a Virgo, a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aries in particular, okay? So Archangel Michael, what is the energy of the Hierophant crossed with the Hermit 
very deep soul connection, but this person may be tied to a marriage that could have that could have a religious undertone. Could be an arranged marriage, something like that. Eight of coins. You put a lot of effort into this love triangle. Hoping with the death card for transformation. Scorpio energy, hoping for transformation. Yes, Cancer, you are the queen of wands. Now that's the other woman, right? I think you're getting to the point where you're fed up waiting, Cancer. Yeah, four of cups. So this emperor has offered you love, ace of cups, but it's not enough. You're not happy with what he's offered you. And he may know that. Temperance. You have been coasting cancer. You have been waiting. You have been patient. I'm hearing you've had the patience of a saint. But this is you thinking, I don't want to wait anymore. I've sort of had enough. Let's have a look at the past with the Four of Swords. I think this is you considering moving into this third party situation. Do I actually want to do this? Do I want to do this? Nine of coins. What you were thinking about was, well, I'm single. I've got a lot to offer. I don't know if I really want to move into a third party. You may have been wondering whether or not you should choose someone who wasn't attached to anyone else. But with the energy of the chariot, your card of cancer, you did move towards this person. Cards are going crazy. You did move towards this person. Yeah, you decided to take the risk. Aries energy again. You could have moved forwards into a third party with an Aries. You knew the risk. But you felt somehow that it was worth it because you got a true pair. I mean, you may have found yourself falling in love with this person and then thinking, OK, it's not ideal. I could go for someone single, but I've developed emotions for this person. So I'm going to see how it goes. You then thought about the King of Cups. This is someone who didn't show a lot of emotion, but you knew he loved you deep down, right? Page of Coins. He may have said to you, it's tricky. You know, there's a child in the mix. Or he may have talked to you, Cancer, about having children. Yes, so he took action. He's coming through as the King of Cups and the King of Wands. He took action, Cancer. It could have started as a sort of flirtatious friendship that ended up moving into a full-blown affair. Yeah. And with the Magician, I think you felt that you were going to be able to manifest commitment with this guy. I just need to hang on. I just need to be a little bit more patient and it's going to happen. But here is you. Nothing much is happening. Nothing much is moving. There's no progress. You're still sat in this third party situation. With the energy of the Queen of Cups, you know, Cancer, you love this man. You know, but you're also aware that he is in a serious long term situation, which is undoubtedly marriage. He's been sitting on the fence trying to decide what he wants to do. He's thinking about divorce. He's also thinking of working in partnership with you while staying in a legal contract. 
So he may not know if he really wants to divorce. You're very consciously sitting thinking about the lovers. I am just this man's lover and I don't know how long I can keep waiting for him to make his move. Waiting for him to make a decision to leave his partner. So Cancer, you're sat in the Queen of Cups. What is your energy? Yes, Page of Swords. I don't know, Cancer, whether or not you've already had a child with this man. You could have. You could have fallen pregnant. And he's still sitting on the fence as to whether or not he wants to end his marriage. Two pages here. Or whether or not, with a page of swords, you are getting a little bit irritated here. What are you thinking about? Yeah, that he's going to continue to hang on to his long-term partner. Who could, with the sun actually live elsewhere. So this emperor and his long-term partner may have a long-distance relationship thing going on. They could have married. It could be much more of a contract. Could be an arranged marriage. Could be something like that. Or a marriage that is very difficult to dissolve. He could be of a religion that disapproves of divorce. Okay, Eight of Cups. Travel again. Cancer, you don't know what to do, but you know you need to make a decision. Do you hang on in there or do you walk away? So in the immediate future, my lovely Cancerians, we've got the lovers, you're in a third party, and we've got whoever this guy is coming through as the King of Wands, the King of Cups Emperor, rolled into one. He has to make a decision. He's sitting on the fence. Archangel Michael, do we have timing for my lovely Cancerians? Thank you, Michael. April. Okay, 4th of April to, I'm sorry guys, I'm hearing the 12th of September. About five months. Can say you may give this guy an ultimatum. You may say to him, look, I'm going to give you another six months. But if you don't leave your partner, your long term partner in six months, because I've waited quite a long time already, I think I need to make the decision to walk away from this. You may feel cancer. It would just be way too painful to stay in this. What is this emperor's energy? He's sitting on the fence, two of wands. He knows he's got a choice to make. How does he feel about cancer? Yeah. Okay. Cancer, he feels as if you're beginning to get a bit cross with the Queen of Swords. This is how he feels about you. You are no longer sitting in a lovely soft energy. You're a little bit guarded. You've got questions and you're turning a bit cold. Page of Wands. This can be an argument. It can be a conversation about children. Two of Swords, okay. Cancer, I don't feel that you two are communicating right now. You may have said to him, I've kind of had enough. I don't want to hear from you again. Don't send me any flirtatious messages anymore. I've had enough. This is how he sees you. What is on his mind at the moment, Michael? He knows he has to make a judgment call. Yeah, he knows he has to make a serious decision. Sag energy. He knows he has to make a serious decision. But he feels that 
it would lead to heartbreak. If he makes a decision to stay with his wife, he's going to be heartbroken over you. If he makes a decision to leave his wife and move to be with you, to commit to you, he may know he's bringing heartbreak to his long-term partner and maybe his family, his immediate family. He doesn't quite know what to do. What does he want in the future with cancer? Does he know what he wants in the future with cancer? <sighs> Tricky energy. He wants to win victory and success. What does he want with cancer in the future? Other than just to win you, cancer. <laughs> Nine of Cups. Cancer, I think what he has up his sleeve is to persuade you to move into a living together situation that will be long term. A living together situation that will be long term. That's the truth. Ace of Swords. That's the truth. He simply wants you to agree to not sit in a cold energy and to embrace a long-term living together situation. What is he saying to Cancer at this point of time? The hangman, maybe Pisces energy. Cancer, what he's saying to you is, I want you to look at the bigger picture i.e. is it really that important that I'm married? Is it really that important? What else is he saying to Cancer? Ace of Coins. He could be talking to you about a large amount of money. He could be talking to you about a Pisces. He could be a Pisces. He's talking also about moving. I don't know how close you two live from each other. I don't think he's actually living on a day-to-day -day basis with his wife. I think she lives in another country, son, global travel. So this could indeed be an arranged marriage. It could be a convenient marriage. But on a day-to-day -day basis, he may live alone. If you live at some kind of distance from this guy, then what he's saying is we could buy a house together. We could live together, ongoing. King of Swords. I mean, he's telling you the truth, that that's what he would want. That's what he would offer you. This wouldn't be just an ongoing dating scenario, Cancer. We would live together like man and wife, but not married because he's already married, right? But you may worry, Cancer, he's being strategic. King of Coins. Cancer, you may feel that with a King of Coins energy, he simply wants everything his own way. He wants to keep his money to remain in the King of Coins energy, financially stable, whilst getting what he wants from an emotional point of view from you. What are you saying to him? Guys, I'm sorry. Some third party situation again. The Wheel of Destiny. What you're saying to him is, look, I feel as if we meant for a reason. I feel a very strong connection to you. I want to move this into a new cycle. I want us to get far more serious and what he's saying is well yes I'm offering you living together wow okay but knight of swords you're not happy with that you're not happy it's just not enough what you're looking at is that you've been very patient you've coasted you've given him more than enough time to make this decision and he's not doing it Five of Cups, you're very disappointed. You're not really wanting what he's offering you.
what you're thinking about is the Knight of Wands, that really what this is all about is him wanting to keep this as an ongoing affair. And it's not what you want. High Priestess. And because of that, this is you pulling back. And I don't think you two are speaking. I don't think you two are talking. What is the energy between you two? There is love. And Cancer, a lot of it. Knight of Cups. But this is one stubborn guy. He's digging his heels in. I mean, I guess in all fairness to him, it could be that it's almost impossible to get out of a marriage where there's not only a legal and financial, but also religious dynamic going on here. What is the Three of Wands? Five of Wands. You may wonder quietly, Cancer, whether or not this woman in this other country is even aware that this guy is wanting to live with you. You may be conflicted because I'm looking at this card, guys. I mean, imagine this is you. Forget it's a guy, right? Imagine this is you. This is you a bit suspicious. Does his wife living in another country even know that we are dating. You're conflicted because Cancer, you also don't want to be in a situation where you move in with this guy and then his wife turns up out of nowhere and basically says, what the hell are you doing living with my husband? Which tells me, Cancer, that even though you love this man, you may not totally trust him. And a relationship has to be built, first of all, on total trust. Yes, you're thinking about this marriage in this other country, the world. Does his wife even know? So Cancer, he may have said to you, oh, well, yes, my wife and I live apart, but she knows that we live separate lives. I mean, she knows that I date other women. She's fully aware of that. It's just a legal contract. But you're not sure. You're not sure that you believe that. So Cancer, the final card is a seven of coins. You're looking at everything you've invested into this connection. This is you trying to make the right decision. Yes, you're in love with this guy. You're emperor, right? He's offered you a love connection. He's offered you living together. But it's not enough. So, Cancer, I think you are going to continue to hold back. You're not talking to each other here. The high priestess is silent. And with the two of swords, this guy knows that at the moment you've blocked him. What are you going to decide to do? say you're going to go out and enjoy yourself. You are making a decision not to sit at home stressing about this, waiting for this guy to leave his wife. You are deciding to simply check out who else is available. Who else is out there? Ace of Wands. Cancer, you may meet someone else that you're very, very attracted to. Page of Cups. And you are going to develop feelings for him. Yes, Cancer, this is you checking somebody else out. Could be a Leo. With a strength card, two of coins. Cancer, you don't see there's any problem in you juggling your emperor with another guy. Because he's juggling you with his wife, right? So Cancer, what you're doing, you're creating a safety net for yourself just in case my emperor doesn't actually divorce. 
I'm going to start dating someone else. You're also realising, Cancer, that if your emperor finds out that you're interested in another man, he may step up, maybe finally. So it's a win-win situation for you. You're not doing anything wrong because you're single. This emperor hasn't committed to you. You're sitting in the nine of pentacles, right? And you and your emperor, you and this married man are not talking right now in any case. So you're simply deciding to check out the competition. Yes, because cancer, what you really want is to be offered a proper commitment. You want to sit in the Queen of Coins. You want to get married. What is the Emperor's energy? Okay. <laughs> Nine of Wands. Cancer, you may post something on social media which causes a bit of a stir. He may see you posting a picture of yourself with another guy and feel very stressed. Oh my goodness, Cancer is dating another man. What is his energy? Yeah, it's going to be a tower moment for him. Aries Scorpio. It's as if I never thought Cancer would do that. But you had every right to do that, Cancer, because this guy wasn't stepping up. So what is this guy doing? Is he going to communicate with Cancer? Yeah. Cancer, he wants to move to calmer waters with you. So he wants to get back in communication with you because of something he would have seen on social media about you dating this new guy. What's he going to say to Cancer? I just don't know what to do. Ten of Wands. I don't want to lose you, but I'm not ready to end my marriage. What are you going to do? You're simply very defensive. You may ignore the messages coming in. What's he going to do? Okay. I think he's going to travel back to where his wife lives. And to really consider ending the relationship. This is him realising cancer. If he does not step up, you are gone. What is going to happen when he goes back to see his wife? Oh, oh, cancer. Ten of swords. Which can only mean that if he goes back to see his wife, he's going to find his wife in a relationship with someone else herself. Which means, Cancer, this emperor and his wife never had a conversation about separation. He may have been trying to develop a long-term third-party situation with you at a distance in another country. Assuming that his wife wouldn't find out, he's now realising that his wife may have figured out that at a distance her husband was off having a fling, which he was with you. He is now realising how you feel because he feels devastated understanding that his wife has gone off with somebody else. So ironically, he feels betrayed even though he was betraying his wife with you. Okay. What is going to happen between this man and his wife? The devil. Okay, she could be a Capricorn. I think he's going to have a sit down conversation with her and say, look, let's be honest here. At a distance, I have met someone and I've been wanting to move in with her. And obviously what he's going to go on to say is, obviously, you've met someone else. I feel betrayed. But given that I was trying to form a long term a fair situation with another woman, I can't complain. So basically this whole thing has got very toxic with the devil. My left ear is ringing really loudly. And he may talk to his wife about official legal separation. 
which he didn't consider previously. He was simply just married, working away from home. But he's now seen the reality of his marriage situation. What's the energy of his wife? Let's just check. Seven of Swords. Yeah. So as he was cheating on his wife, she was cheating on him. And what he's realising now is he's been trying to hang on to a marriage that simply is completely toxic. What's going to happen between this man and Cancer? Okay, the topic is going to be brought up again of you two living together. But this time, Cancer, just know that his wife is fully aware because these two are moving into legal separation. That's what I'm hearing. So this is now actually legitimate. Before, he was trying to pull you into a long-term affair situation. Now, having found out that his wife was cheating on him at a distance as he was cheating on her with you, he is now saying to you, my wife and I are officially legally separating. It really is done. This isn't divorce, I don't think. This is legal separation. So this is a much more stable offer, Cancer. He will be legally separated. And he, again, is offering you the chance of moving into the Four of Wands with him. So Cancer, you have a decision to make, my beautiful Cancerians. Ten of Cups. You have to figure out what is actually going to make you happy. What is going to make you happy, Cancer? Could you cope with initially moving into the Four of Wands with this man and see how things go? Or are you going to stick to your plan and carry on dating this other guy and see whether or not he would really want to commit to you? What are you going to do? <laughs> Cancer, I think you're going to date both. So what you're going to say to your emperor is, I'm still not happy with what you're offering me because you're still legally married. I'm happy to date you. I'm happy to see you now and again. But on a very casual basis, we'll see each other occasionally. I'm going to date this other guy. Because I feel that he really wants to commit to me. You're putting this emperor on the spot. You're really hoping that if he feels as if you may be snapped up by somebody else, he would push for full divorce. But at this particular time, Cancer, you are simply going to give to both situations. And your emperor can't do anything about it. Yes. But Cancer, I don't think you're going to tell your emperor that you're going to keep seeing this other guy. You're going to keep it under wraps. So whilst you wait for this guy to actually divorce his wife, you're going to keep dating this other guy that you've met. What is going to happen with the other guy? OK, he could end up being your dream come true. He could be an Aquarian. What is going to happen between you and the Emperor? Okay, Cancer, I think you're going to detach from the Emperor. Five of Swords. There may be an argument. I think you are, at this point, fed up with the waiting, with the quiet manipulation. He may have made out when he met you that he and his wife were separated. She knew that he would be dating other women. But from what he's telling you, Cancer, I don't think that's true. Because he's he's basically saying to you, I was devastated because I found out my wife was having a fling with somebody else. So what you're going to realise is he wasn't honest with you in the past. He was actually just looking to develop a long-term affair situation. So what you're going to do is I think you're going to make it work with this other guy. You're going to leave the emperor to it. And I think this is you finding new love. Ace of Cups. Underneath the deck, Empress. And Cancer, you could marry this other guy. 
So this has been a really complicated read with a lot of backwards and forwards, guys. But ultimately, Cancer, what you've realised is you don't want to mess around being in a situation where you're living with someone whose wife may or may not know that they are separated. Cancer, what this is, is you looking out for yourself. You don't have to mess around with a guy who was sort of telling you one thing one day and another thing another day and keeping you hanging. Oh, I can't leave my wife. And then finding out that his wife didn't even know that he was dating you. No, it's just way too complicated, Cancer. You are detaching and I think you're going to make it work with this other guy. And if your emperor does divorce in the end, finally, then that may be another story that might come through at a later date. But for now, Cancer, I see you moving forward with this new guy. So my lovely Cancerians, I am leaving it there. If this is your story, let me know in the comments. For now, take care of you, sending love and light your way and many blessings. Bye, Cancer.